Now we come to the downswing. And the downswing is very, very important. Now let me show you what I find happens a great deal to my pupils that come to my academy. I see it day in, day out. They get to the top of the backswing and they put together a good swing. And when they get to here, they actually hit from the top of the downswing. And that causes a cutting across motion and a serious loss of power. Now really what we're looking for here is a much more compact motion. You'll see the likes of Tiger Woods and Vijay Singh, all the world's best strikers of a ball, they concentrate on this movement. Now what's important here is that when you get to the top of the backswing here, is that the L shape, the left arm and the shaft angle, that actual wrist hinge is maintained all the way down to the ball, like so. Now the question is, is what's going to make you a lot more consistent and to help you to maintain that L shape on the downswing? And the answer to that question is the left hip. The left hip is what's known as the powerhouse of any good hitting golf swing. And let me show you. So on the backswing we create a wide circle, but on the downswing the trick is to get the left hip to pull the, the arms and the shaft down into that position. You'll notice that the right heel is up and that the left side is cleared in such a way to allow the hands and arms to release through the shot. Now any good photographs that you'll see of, world, of the world's best players, you'll notice that motion here. It's kind of like a reverse C. That reverse C is only made possible by the head and shoulders staying over here and the left hip turning at that angle to hit the golf shot.